Now from the banks of the Ohio River, we welcome you to Paycor Stadium in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. Here's Evan McPherson. And off we go here in Cincinnati. Now return coming from the seven. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Daniels with a pass. That's to the right side, and it's in it. A good spot here, second and a yard. First carry for the versatile Austin Eckler. And he'll get about four out of that one. That should be enough to move the chains. It is first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Daniels now on first down. A throw left side caught by Sinnott. And pick up a five and sets up second and five. From the gun, it's a give to Eckler. And he'll get this ahead, gain of about four, and it leads to third down. They'll try and run for the first with Eckler. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Throwing now. Daniel. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screenplay still in the back of their head. Back to the third round pick, Luke McCaffrey. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. That pass taken in by McClory. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. And it looks like he's going to have enough for the first down. Yes, he does. First and goal coming up. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. 
Great chance to make an early statement here on the road. It is first and goal. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Diami Brown. Touchdown, Washington. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensive. Be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Now return coming from the seven. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Now the return man is a bit slow getting up after that kick. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. First and ten. Now the replacement for Joe Mixon, it's Zach Moss. Strong running there, pushing his way forward to gain a couple. Second down and eight. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Open man. That's Charlie Jones. And he's going to have a first down. He's forced out. Nice pickup of nine. Working out of the gun, Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. These are the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. From the 35, it's first and 10. They bring Chase in motion. On first down, Burrow to the left side, caught by Chase. They'll break the huddle. It's N5. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard him one-on-one -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And... After plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. Well, you know, Mike, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably not what they had in mind when they called that play. But those guys on defense, they felt like they knew what was coming from the start, and they got to him in a hurry. Burrow here on second down. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Third and long. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. That is caught. Finding Higgins. 
His second catch of the drive. This one good for 15 and a first down. I really like the rhythm that this offense has found. I mean, that third down, that wasn't a layup by any means, but they made it look easy. Everybody was exactly where they needed to be. The quarterback did a nice job working through his progression, saying, okay, I understand this is zone defense. I understand where the limitations of the coverage are. I'm going to get to that spot on the field as fast as I can, deliver the ball, pick up the first down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Now a second down throw for Burrow. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. T. Higgins, the intended receiver on that one. And it'll be third down. Well, that tip ball, I think, just saved a huge play because this offense found something. They had an open target with a lot of room to run, and unfortunately for them, the defender gets his hand on the ball, and that went away pretty quick. He pulls it in around the five, and the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And this has been a really nice answer so far to this game, Mike. I mean, you watch your opponent take the initial drive and go right down the field and score. And what are you going to do in response? What are you going to do when you get that ball back for the first time in your huddle? And I'll tell you what, they've answered all those questions, and now they're set up first and goal. Trying to push the pile forward. He didn't even get to the one-yard line. They stop him short. No game. Well, after being stopped for no gain on first down on the ground, Mike, it brings up the question, second and goal from the two, what do you do? I like throwing it. I don't like waiting till third down to air the ball out. So if they want to take a shot at the end zone, I think it's got to be here on second and goal. Now a handoff, the tight end in the running game. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game, and you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score in the opening possession, and they're able now to go out and square it on up. It allows you to take a deep breath, maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop, and they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The commander's offense going to take over now for the second time. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And stretching it out toward the sideline, but the defense gets to him. He'll be taken down for a loss. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Another run here for Robinson. And he's able to find a crease. Get ahead for seven. It'll bring up third down. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And that is incomplete. I know it fell for an incompletion, but pretty impressive. He was able to push that ball really far downfield as he was being hit. Really says a lot about the arm strength that this quarterback has. So the drive will end there, and on comes Tressway to punt on fourth down. Charlie Jones, the return man for the Bengals. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they 
Meet him and bring him down. The Bengals offense ready for their second possession. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down. Play action now. It's Burrow. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Second down, Burrow. Take it in by Gasicki. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain. And in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. They'll try to run it here with Moss. And this is going to work out. He's got it. The first down at the 38-yard line. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. So, first and 10 here now at the 38. So, we've played one quarter here on a Monday night. Pair of sevens on the scoreboard. Greg and I back here in Cincinnati after this. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. To throw is Burrow. To the middle of the field, caught by Higgins. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. They go play action for Burrow. Quick throw, taken in. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones. But once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. They bring Chase in motion. On first and ten, Burrow. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Here's Burrow. Backs to his big tight end, Gesicki. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Burrow now. Got his receiver on the in-cut. He's got it. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run with Moss. Ah, good blocking, and he's in. Zach Moss, touchdown Bengals. McPherson, now for the PAT.
He knocks it through. And the Bengals will move out to a 14-7 lead. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. This field in at about the nine. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The commander's offense ready for this next possession. They trail now 14 to seven as they'll come up for first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll run it here with Robinson. Oh, oh. And finally, they'll bring him down, but he's up beyond the 45-yard line. Big hole up the middle. The interior of this offensive line did a great job clearing some space. The back saw it quick, and he hit it. The next thing you know, he was in the secondary for a big picker. Play action. Here's Daniels. A throw left side, caught by Sinnott. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. See the rookie tight end, Ben Sinnott, there on the first down completion. And, Mike, he's kind of a throwback in the sense that he can do pretty much everything. He's got good, strong hands. He's a tough blocker. He's elusive with the ball in his hands as a runner. And he can make you miss in space. Think, I mean, at Kansas State last year, he led the team in both receiving yards and touchdowns. the play fake here's Daniels and they'll whistle him down but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven that's not the type of play that's going to end up on a lot of end of the season highlight reels Mike but listen sometimes those little check down crossers produce some positive plays stay ahead of the chains to the air again is Daniels one knocked away. It's incomplete. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, he gets there just a little bit quicker. He can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. He'll try again here. Second and ten. They'll go play action here with Daniel. He's got it at about the eight. And he'll be taken down. Ball sitting at the seven. First and goal. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Brian Robinson, touchdown commander. Not going for two, they'll kick the point after. 
He's got it. And the Commanders will tie things up. We are all even at 14. We are all square, 14 apiece the score, as this one's away. A return now from the four. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Heading out now, the Cincinnati offense. They're going to get set to take over once more. This one, everything we could have hoped for to this point. All even at 14. They'll start this drive with first down. Now, Burrow. Down the field, it's caught on that left sideline. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40-yard line. That is a big play for Cincinnati. 36 yards. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Working out of the gun, Burrow. His pass right side, and Higgins has the catch. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. So not quite first and goal. It's first and 10. They're pretty close. Here's a handoff to Moss. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here, taking them down for a loss. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Burrow to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming. But guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. And the drive stalls out as he's brought down. And the field goal unit likely to come on here on fourth and goal. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bengals move out in front. The new score, 17 to 14. McPherson now, after making the field goal, is set to kick this one off. This will be returned from the six. Oh, he's got room past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The commander's offense ready to get back at it. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. On play action, Daniels. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. On second down, it's Daniel. Throwing over the middle, this one is complete. 
A nice throw by the rookie from LSU. And he's got his team a first down. The RPO, this one to McLaurin. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast, snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long so it's something that teams want to implement but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game great job here defensively mike make them snap the ball again second and one they're not conceding anything make it third and one and see if your defense can come up again with a stop for no game Third in a yard, it's Daniels. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. So prior to that third down call, Mike, I thought they put themselves in a pretty good situation. At that down and distance, they had run and pass, both at their disposal. But nice job by the defense being up to the task. Forced the incomplete. Brings up fourth down. The Bengals' offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. Now, this looks like a design run. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. And these are body blows on any defense. This quarterback has the ability to make guys miss and do a lot of damage in the run game. And that's a nice pickup there. Burrow here on second down. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. now to throw on first down and he's going to be taken down as we hit the two minute warning here in this first half that catch puts him over the 100 yard mark here tonight and it gives the team a first down and this is why most teams Mike decide to take the ball first after the halftime break because they want to be able to control this middle four at the end of the first half you can use your timeout you can use some strategy to steal an extra possession if they're able now to go down and come away with points they'll have a chance to double it up again right after the halftime break here's second and six From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Quick throw here is complete. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Now the Bengals are going to call the first of their timeouts. And they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. Burrow. Oh, busted coverage and chases wide open. 
And the Lufus ball way down into the red zone inside the 20-yard line. And this offense is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. They've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack, so don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. If I'm this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this, not only in this drive, but probably for the rest of this game. Now timeout Cincinnati. That's their second, as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. They'll work now on second and four. To throw is Burrow. There's that man again. Another catch. Two yards from six points. It is first down and goal. Here's a run. Trying to fight his way into the end zone, but they will mark him short. Down at the one. So now they'll send out Evan McPherson for this field goal try. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bengals can tack on three more. Extending the lead here late in the first half. Final second now of this first half as this one is away. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. Daniels now on first down. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Bengals offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They work with a six-point advantage as they start this drive on first and ten. On the ground, it's Brown. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. Brown and he's going to be brought down up past the 45 so as we take a look at the box score Mike you realize here they got the lead we're in the second half but they don't have a lot of rush yards it's because they use the passing game to score points and establish the lead now how we judge their run game is from here to the end of the game can they pile up yards now in the second half and close this game out and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jamar Chase. And that will lead to a second down. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. 
You talk about a quarterback getting bailed out. Man, that is a pick all day long. And as this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet. But I could promise you they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that one. After back-to-back -back incompletions, they now face third down and 10. He's going to let it go deep for Chase. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential, your ability to protect the ball and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. The Bengals out and ready to punt. The veteran Jamison Crowder deep to return. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. The commander's offense ready for their first possession of this second half. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drop. First and ten. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Luke McCaffrey, the intended receiver. And it'll lead to a second down. Initially, a nice job by the receiver. He actually was open downfield. He was able to get behind the defense, but the window closed up so quickly they couldn't get the ball to him. Prevents the big play. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Here's a third down and four. Operating from the gun, it's Daniel. He'll get this one complete to Brown. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the four. So they come to the line for first down and ten. Daniels going to throw again. On target. Got it to McClurin. They face second down and seven. Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. He finds the veteran Ertz. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. The tight end Ertz in motion. On the handoff, this is Eckler. And he'll get about five. Again, it's Eckler. And let's give him about four on that one. It is Logan Wilson up to make the play. Third and a yard. They'll throw with Daniel. He's got the veteran Zach Ertz. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. That's complete. It's Jamison Crowder. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. Nice job there, getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. 
It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. That's McLaurin open on the left side. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Out of the gun, they give it to Eckler. And that big offensive line, clearing space. He's in. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Washington. Point after. Coming up here. It's up and through. And the Commanders have taken the lead by a point here in the third. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this one taken at the seven he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Bengals offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession the deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score set to go now on first and ten They'll start this on the ground with Moss. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's a second and nine. Now, Burrow. Open that downfield. Chase has it. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 71 yards. Touchdown, Cincinnati. So now the Bengals and Burrow will come out and try to add two. Now they'll set up to throw. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. Here comes a return from the three. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here. And they'll begin it with first and ten. The drive starts with a carry by Eckler. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Well, that's how you get a drive started. A big play here in the run game. And you have to imagine this is something we're going to continue to see. Success early in the drive typically results in success later in the drive. On first and 10, here's Daniel. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Here's a second and six.
from the shotgun. It's Daniel. That pass taken in by McLaurin. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. Fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. He's going nowhere. That call, not the right one. It's going to bring up fourth down. If you send your field goal unit on the field, Mike, it gives you a chance to chip away at this deficit. But I think I'm keeping my offense on the field. I'm going to one of my critical plays on my call sheet. Keep this drive alive. The hope is to come away with six. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he's going to have a commander's first down. And more. It'll wind up a gain of five on fourth and two. I know it's fourth and short, Mike, but at this distance, you actually have to clear a lane out. You can't just fall forward or push the pile. So that conversion, it's as much of a credit to the blocking as it is to the running back seeing the hole and hitting it. To throw is Daniels on first and ten. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. From the gun, it's a give to Eckler. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. From the shotgun, on third down, Daniel. Inside the 10, it is caught. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the 5. Barring some type of disaster with that big pass pickup, it puts them in position now where they feel like they can at least walk away with points off this drive. I just feel like it has to be six. I feel like anything less than that will be a letdown. Off the bootleg, here's Daniels. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Ben Sinnott was the intended receiver. And it'll be second and goal. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. They're going to motion the tight end over here. They run this straight ahead with Eckler. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Commanders. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. The offense will stay out there as they will line up and go for two. Here's Daniel. This is caught. He's got it. And they tack two more onto their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Working out of the gun, Burrow. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. There was tight coverage all across the field. I think the quarterback thought he had the arm strength to fit this one into a pretty small window, but the defense wasn't having it. They were all over it, and I think the quarterback actually got away with one there. 
on the handoff. This is Moss. And he's going to struggle to get back to the line. Maybe a yard. The veteran Bobby Wagner in there on the stop. Third down and nine. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Taken in by Gasicki. It'll be a pickup of 10. And the Bengals going to have a first down. To throw is Burrow. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. So, no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. Back with more Monday Night Football after this. Second down, Burrow. And that ball incomplete. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And let's see if they can take advantage of it. Big play coming up. This is third down. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. There's that man again. Another catch. As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. You think you're going to pick up the first down. You get tackled just shy of the sticks. And now, a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. Trailing late. They've got to go here. It's fourth down. They'll try it now with Moss. And he's going to have the Bengals first down by a good couple of yards as they get three on fourth and inches. This play should always end up converting a fourth down, especially at this distance. But you can't tell me there weren't some nerves on that sideline as they sent that play in to snap it. But fortunately, nothing to worry about. The offense gets it done. Back to his big tight end, Gesicki. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments. In fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Play action now. It's Burrow. For the sideline, brought in by Chase. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Here in the fourth quarter, you just can't predict how many possessions you have left for the remainder of the game, so you can't let any of them go to waste. So far, this has been a fantastic drive. It's a drive that they desperately needed. They continue to throw the ball like that. They got a chance to take a late lead here in the fourth quarter. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Burrow. He pulls it in around the five. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. to throw Burrow that's to the end zone but it's incomplete you have to come down with those opportunities you're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player and when you do let alone in the end zone those are plays you just have to make so out now Evan McPherson in a big spot this to tie things up here in the fourth 
And this one, right down the middle. It's good. That evens the score here in the fourth quarter. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to take over once more. This game level following the made field goal. So they need to put something together here. It begins with first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. He's got his tight end. There's Ertz. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. A good spot here. Second and a yard. Throwing now, Daniels. Quick throw here is complete. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. First and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Taking off. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. He'll run. Eckler, first down, and more. Give him 18 yards on that one and a first down. Nice run there by Eckler, and he continues to be a productive back here in his eighth season in the NFL, and it's one of the main reasons why the commanders targeted him back in March. Play action. Here's Daniels. Now he'll run. He is dangerous when a play breaks down. A pickup of 18. This has been a great drive and mostly at the hands of the man with the ball there. He thought about pulling the trigger on that one, thought better of it, decides to take off with his legs, and now he's going to have first and goal. They'll run here with Eckler. Fighting for the goal line. He lost the football. It's out. And he's going to take it in for the touchdown. Whoa. Have a friend in the right spot at the right time. The fumble, not a turnover, but a TD. Just a great way to finish. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. They are very fortunate to get another shot at it. It is second down and goal. And now movement up front. This crowd is making it tough down deep in the red zone. The task a bit tougher as they face second and goal. They send the tight end in motion. On second down, it's Daniel. Adds to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. The crowd making their presence felt. This is third down. 
That is caught. Trying to reach for the goal line, but he's going to come up just short. Wow, that's going to set up fourth down. So now, out comes the field goal unit in this pressure spot. This to take the lead here in the fourth. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do. They'll start out first down and 10. Burrow fires quick to Higgins. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll keep it on the ground. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. They'll come up to third and three. Burrow to throw. He's got a receiver. It's Chase. They'll come up here, first and ten. They go play action for Burrow. Open man, downfield, Chase has it. That pass play, good for 22. It's a Cincinnati, first down. Gasicki, the man in motion. Burrow now to throw on first down. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders... Got a head start. They bring Chase in motion. Now a second down throw for Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. 
Here's Burrow. And that is incomplete. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the past. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. And this one right down the middle. It's good. That evens the score here in the fourth quarter. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The visitors' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. We're all even. Fourth quarter, so every drive so important at this stage. And they'll start with first and ten. run here and they'll be set up now up past the 40 with that one the ability to be effective on first down Mike it just makes everything else easier in the event you do have to face a third down down the road they're usually a lot more manageable situations a lot easier to convert now Daniels throwing on first and ten and they're going to work this down inside the 45. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they don't necessarily even have to see the running back in the check down. They can just feel him. It allows them to keep their eyes downfield, allow their tight ends and wide receivers to continue to work open. In this case, nice job by the quarterback getting that ball in his hands and letting him do the rest after the catch. They'll drop to throw. To the right side here. Pass is caught. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. 18 on the gain again. And another first down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Eckler. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. Here's second down. On the ground, Eckler. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Robinson. So now the Bengals use their third and final timeout as they'll get it with still a minute 20 left to go in the game. Here we go, first and goal. They'll run with Robinson. He'll get maybe a yard down to the four-yard line. And 
Inside the five, it is second and goal. Here's Eckler. And he's going the wrong way, dropped back at the seven. It makes sense on second and goal, Mike, to keep this ball on the ground. You always have third down again to finally punch it in. But now after the defense forces you backwards, I think you have to consider putting this one in the air here on third and goal. They'll try and run. It's Eckler. This defense standing up in the red zone. They stop him for no gain. And now it's fourth and goal. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no gain. This kick is good. And it's celebration time. A walk-off victory on the game's final play. So a win here on the road for the Commanders. They get themselves into field goal range for one final shot. Kicker delivers. They avoid overtime and come away with a three-point victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. Good night from Cincinnati.